what would happen if every human being on Earth disappeared? At some point in the future, this could be the fate of our planet. This isn't the story of how we might vanish. It is the story of what happens to the world we leave behind. The disappearance of humans may seem like science fiction. But eventually there will come a day like this. A day when people no longer walk the earth. It's no great stretch to imagine humans disappearing from the face of the earth. Every generation has its tales of Armageddon or apocalypse. We're the first generation that could, by deliberate actions, cause its own doom. What will life be like after people? We're tantalized by our myths about our own destruction. But also tantalized by the notion, hey, maybe it's the turn of someone else. What will they do if we're gone? What will the Earth do when I'm gone? It's the most natural question in the world. Time has run out for man. Our hold on the planet is over. Welcome to Earth. Population zero. Within hours after we're gone, lights start going out around the world. More than 70% of power in the United States is generated by the burning of fossil fuels. The plant will only continue to produce electricity as long as the fuel takes to be consumed. If there's no one around to provide the new fuel into the generating plant, then it'll be quite quick before the lights start going out in cities all over the world. Nuclear power plants are unlikely to melt down. The average reactor holds enough fuel to keep running for two years, but without humans consuming the power generated by the plant, the reactors will automatically shut down into a safe mode in as little as two days. Even wind generation can't last forever. The turbines require bearings and lubrication of those bearings in order to keep operating. If there's no one around to maintain the turbines, the electricity doesn't get produced. As generating plants go down, outages on the power grid contribute to a cascade of failure worldwide. After a few weeks, the planet is plunged into a deep darkness it has not experienced since humans first huddled around campfires. Perhaps the last glow of artificial lights on Earth will be seen in the American Southwest. Here, the mighty Hoover Dam hydropower plant takes little notice of the absence of humans. Its source of fuel 
is virtually limitless. At Hoover Dam, our fuel supply is actually the water in the reservoir in Lake Mead behind Hoover Dam. So as long as there's water in the reservoir, this power plant can keep running. There's water in the reservoir, keeps supplying the water to the hydro turbine generators. These generators are operating automatically, and that would continue as long as all of the systems are functioning normally. If I and my staff were to leave tonight and not come back to Hoover Dam, say just in the condition that the plant is in right now, this would continue operating without us here. That would still be true after about a week, several weeks, several months, maybe even a couple of years, everything would still be running normally. In a life after people, it is possible that Hoover Dam would be one of the last power plants still running. As the power goes out around the world, other systems are also quickly beginning to fail. Beneath all major cities, there's a complex network of underground tunnels. And these are there for drainage purposes or for cabling purposes. And in the case of the big cities, for transportation as well. Now, many of those sit below the level of the water table. And in order to keep them dry, we have to have a system of pumps that are switched on when necessary to drain the tunnels. Deep within New York City subways, more than 700 pumps constantly struggle to keep out a flood of groundwater. An average of 13 million gallons a day. Now, if all these people were not around, there would be nobody to switch the pumps on. It's estimated that the tunnels would fill with water in about 36 hours. Back above ground, food is rotting on supermarket shelves. Home refrigerators become nothing more than containers for decaying food. But meltwater from defrosting freezers may provide a temporary lifeline for some of the creatures we've left behind. What will be the fate of our family pets once there are no humans left to care for them? Right from the get-go, there's going to be a massive die-off of dogs. The instance that humans are gone, they're not creating the debris or producing the food that the dogs are living on. He can't open cans, he can't get in the refrigerator. He's got to get out of the house. The family dog has got to get out of the house. Or he's going to die there. And once he gets out, he's got to go to some source of food. first thing that happens is that they all jump out of the windows and they are now out there in a new landscape. And the first whack at it is that they, uh, they go back to scavenging a whole bunch of dead things out there in the world. There are estimated to be 400 million dogs in the world. And 300 different breeds. 